Good morning. Good morning. Praise God. Good morning. Thank you for joining me. I am Evangelist Cynthia Lyons. Thank you for joining me here at Tenderhearted Ministries. God bless you. Happy Sunday. Praise God. We made it through another week at the beginning of a new week, a new Sunday. Praise God. And we give God all praise, glory, and honor. There is a word from the Lord. God gave me a word, very quick, very short word, but God gave me this word. He changed my message again. Amen. He changed my message. I was working on something else until the other night. Amen. So get your Bibles, get your Bibles, get your Bibles. Everyone, most everyone knows this scripture because it is something that we hear all the time. It's written, it's been quoted more than any other scripture in the word of God. And that is John 3, 16. That's right, John 3, 16. And I am reading from the King James Version. So I pray that you will hit the like, hit the share button. Share, share. Because this is a word where we're just offering Christ to those who do not know him as their Lord and Savior is so important. We are living in the last and evil days. Amen. So let's just get into this word. I'm reading from the King James Version and the word of God reads, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. And the word of God is already blessed. Praise God. Amen. What an awesome scripture. That's a scripture that most people know by heart. Amen. Amen. And uh, the topic I want to speak from today, if I had a topic, it would be this. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? God changed my message the other night. A couple of nights ago here in Florida, in, in Southern Florida, amen, Miami, Florida, to be specific, I was awakened in the wee hours of the morning. When I looked at the clock, it was almost two o'clock. It was thundering. It was lightning, unlike any other storm that we usually have. This one seemed to shake the entire house. I mean, it was, I had to think I didn't even wake up my husband. Usually I'm sleeping like a rock. Amen. But that night he 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 woke up a little later. But you know what? It the the thunderstorm, it was just so intense. And I thought, Lord, are you coming back? You know, I did. I thought, Lord, are you coming back? And then my very next thought was, are you ready for him to come back? Amen. Yes, I've been saved for a long time. Yes, I wake up, try my best to live holy and live and do right and make right decisions. But in that split second, when I thought that Jesus could be coming back, I had to ask myself, are you ready? And I want to pose that same question to you. Are you ready? Do you know if your loved ones are ready? Are you sure that everyone in your household is saved? Have you witnessed to your neighbors, to your loved ones? Just think about it. In a split second, if you were to close your eyes right now, will you see God? Will you see Jesus? Will he welcome you in? Will you hear that welcome voice? You got to ask yourself, are you ready? Amen. God gave us a special gift. He gave us the best gift that anyone could ever give. He gave us his only begotten son. The word of God says God so loved the world. That's unconditional love. He loved us while we were yet sinners. He sent his only begotten son to die for our sins. And he was the only one that could do it because he was without sin. You see, we are all descendants of Adam. Amen. We are all sinful. I don't care. We are born into it because of the sin of the first man, Adam and Eve. That first sin, it, it, it made all of us sinners because we are all descendants. We come from there. So no matter how good you are, you can't be good enough to be saved. You can't be good enough to make it into heaven. You know, we are saved by the grace of God. 
Amen. His amazing grace is how we are saved through the blood of Jesus, through faith in what Jesus did on the cross, on Calvary's cross. Amen. So God gave us the best gift. He so loved us. Amen. That's that agape love, that agape o love. Amen. He so loved us that he gave his only begotten son. Now here's the part that whosoever, you don't have to qualify. He says, whosoever, that includes you, 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 and me. That includes all of us. It includes if you're white, if you're black, if you're Asian. It does not matter your background, your upcoming. It does not matter. It does not matter where you come from, you know, your neighborhoods. It does not matter how much money you got in the bank. It does not matter how many degrees you got on the wall. Whosoever, the word of God says, whosoever believeth in him and who Jesus amen the word of God says in Romans 10 and 9 that if you confess Jesus with your mouth you believe in your heart and you confess him amen you can be saved Romans 10 and 9 it says if thou confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Amen. So you can be saved. Amen. God gave his best gift. Amen. He gave the most precious gift in the world for you and for me. Amen. That storm the other night, I got to tell you, I just said, Lord, I start, Lord, if, if there's anything that you see in me. Because God, I want to go back with you. Amen. I want to go back with you. I got a daddy over there. Amen. I got a brother. I got a grandmother. I got so many people there. Amen. That I know. I know they profess Jesus. And I know that they are with the Father. And I want to see them again one day. But most of all, I want to see Jesus. I want to see who died on the cross for me. I want to see Every, I want to see him. Amen. I want to see him for myself. Amen. So you can do the same. If you want to see Jesus, if you want to secure your place in eternity, amen. Confess Jesus as your Lord and as your Savior. That's the word today. That's what God gave me. Stop me. I was studying. I give it to you next week or whenever the Lord says. But I only want to do what God told me to do. Amen. So there's somebody in your family, in your, in your, you know, your influence, amen, that does not know Jesus. It's so important. People are leaving here every day. We're getting reports of people leaving, young, old babies, you know, leaving here. We have to secure our, our eternal life. I mean, that resting place. We got to know, and it'll give your family peace. To know that you have made peace with Jesus. Amen. You made peace with God through the blood of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. So now if you want to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you can do that today. You can do that today. Just raise your hand and say, God, I surrender. I want to, I, I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins. I believe that he got up on the third day with all power in his hand. I want Jesus to be Lord of my life. I confess him as my Lord and my Savior. Forgive me of my sins. That's all you have to say. Repeat after me. Forgive me of my sins, Lord. And that's it. That's it. That's all you have to do. And you will be saved today. Right where you are. You will be saved. Amen. So I will admonish you to get yourself a Bible if you don't have one. Open it up. Start reading in John. Start in John. And just, just pray and ask the Lord to lead and guide you. I pray that you connect with a Bible teaching church. Amen. Connect with a Bible teaching church that they believe in the word of God. You can join me every Sunday, 9 a.m. for a quick inspirational message. Amen. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Amen. God bless you. And I pray that you have a very safe, prosperous walk in 
faith, walk in victory, walk in love this week. Amen. Say your prayers. Amen. God loves you and so do I. God bless you and have a wonderful week. Amen.